everybody, and welcome to the Grip Bell panel here at RTX 2013. <laughs> sharing one of our favorite things ever with you guys. Um, so for the observant in the audience, you may notice that there are four microphones, but there are only three of us up on stage. So we have someone who's going to be joining us who's in this room that doesn't know that he's a panelist. So, um, but the best way to introduce him is with this. And I'm sure he'll figure it out. It's a he. It's a spoiler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Griffballer of the Year, which is a huge accomplishment. We're very, very happy to have him. Uh, the other Griffballer of the Year, they actually tied. Go figure. Uh, he couldn't make it. That was Noplex, though. So, uh, but yeah, we have Talk Pizza Hunter, and we're happy to, to have him on the panel. So, thanks for having me. Surprise! Right, jeez. <laughs> so no, it wasn't Kevin Franklin or Bernie or the president, like some people were guessing. Uh, Brock died. No, but this is better, isn't I'm it? Better. Yeah, I think it's better. It better. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, another highlight reel, but we'll, I think we'll hold that in reserve for a while, uh, you know, draw the attention and the suspense. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit about Griffball and Griffball Hub. I'm sure most of you guys know the story of Griffball. It was started by Bernie Burns. There was a joke made by him saying this is the best game, or rather Sarge saying this is the best game since Griffball. And then with the heroic map pack, they made that first little uh, little demo. They made the court for the commercial. It ultimately got cut. Uh, but Bernie and them decided to play around a little more, and they created Grip Balls. And they got their friends at Bungie to make it into the playlist, and uh, the rest has been history. As far as Grip Ball Hub, we got in pretty early on the ground floor, started in 2007, as a fan site uh, just to support Grip Ball because we loved it so much. And then with Reach, it was what, 2009? Reach? Reach, September 2010. 2010. Uh, we got this really awesome email from Bernie saying, hey, you guys still do that grip ball stuff, right? Yes, yes, Bernie, we, we do. Uh, do you guys want to make the maps for, uh, for Bungie? Okay. No, you don't say no to Bernie Burns. You just don't. And uh, so ever since, we've been creating every map and every game type you've ever played in grip ball matchmaking came from us. 
in our community. So we, we watch them all, so if you hate them, uh, don't say anything. If you love them, please let us know. Or how it normally goes that if you hate it, complain to us. If you love it, tell 343. Yeah, that one, that one happens pretty frequently, actually. And we're doing the same thing with Halo 4. Uh, all the maps for group matchmaking, game types, that all comes from us. So we're very, very happy to be here and share this with you guys. Uh, we are all volunteers. I think that kind of gets lost sometimes. None of us get paid to do this. The booth on the floor, all of this is community donated. So uh, just thank you to our awesome community for, for supporting us for going on almost six years now. Okay. Woo! Yeah, So I guess uh, well, we already introduced Taco Pizza Hunter, even though he knows it needs no introduction. And on my left we have the Texasist, football commentator and uh, admin and I guess co-host of the podcast. I'm Goose Chucka. I am the content and community oh. manager for Griffball Hub, and I also manage the podcast. And I'm Cal, we're Griffball Hub, uh, site admin and a league admin. He does all the coding. <laughs> yeah, it's a glorious job. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Almost as bad as stats. Almost as yeah. bad as stats. Yeah, our, our head of stats right here, since we can't pull the API, go ahead and set up. He goes through every game and pulls every person's stats. Yeah, it's, it's a thankless. And Razor. And Razor, too. It's a thankless job. But we are very lucky here. We have a lot of grip ballers here today. I mean, obviously, everybody in here, I'm assuming, you all play grip ball, right? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So let's look here at uh, grip ball, the one with auto catch, just regular grip ball. Who likes that in Halo 4? <laughs> okay, and Griff Ball Pro. Yeah. Also, it's actually yeah. a pretty even split. Does anybody not know what Griff Ball is? All right. Well, all right. I appreciate the honesty. I really do. So, real quick, Griff Ball is a, the best sports game type within a first-person shooter ever. It is in Halo Reach and Halo 3 and Halo 4. There's a hammer, there's a sword, and there's a bomb, and it's kind of like rugby or lacrosse, I guess, if you want to go that way. And uh, you try to plant your bomb in the enemy's goal, and then you smash each other with hammers while you do it. So that is Griff Ball in a nutshell. And you have to see some of it. Um, those are our highlight reels made by uh, our site owner, Puptastrophe, who is also not here today, sad face. Uh, but we have all of this swag up here. We have lots of cinch bags. Let me show them off. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> giving away. We also have several t-shirts that say, keep calm and hammer on. And we've got a bunch of these things called codes, or avatar armor. So why don't we just start off with questions so people can actually get the swag because we really want to give it away because we don't want to bring it home. So if you have any questions about Griff Ball, please come up to the microphone. Yeah, that's fine. If you've got a question, that's fine. No, feel free. League players can have questions sometimes. All right, go ahead, sir. I've never met. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is going to win the AGLA championship? Oh. I think that's a question for our special guest, Taco Pizza Hunter. I'm saying legitimate strategy. Woo! Um, uh, I'm gonna have to go with one hit wonders. As far as I know, they're still undefeated, right? Yes. They're still undefeated. <laughs> if that's my, if that's Derek's team, I'm going them. Is that you guys? And Crusader and all them? I don't. <laughs> I'm going with Ways Means Penny. Of course. <laughs> so just just to clarify, uh, what. Uh, this fine young gentleman who I've never met was asking, he asked uh, who we thought would win the AGLA. The AGLA is the American Grip Ball League of America. It was originally established by Bernie Burns at the, the very start of Grip Ball back in 2007, January 2008-ish. And they are a competitive Grip Ball League. They do an eBay-style draft where you literally bid on people to draft them to your team. So it's 16 very elite teams. I mean, I have no problem saying that these 16 teams have the best players in the world on them. And I have no, no reservation saying that. So if you think you're the best Griff Baller, I highly encourage you to come down to the hub and, uh, and test your skills against these guys. Well, there's a bad trick there because I'm on the team. Oh, that's true. Some it, of them. It's the best players in the world in Tex. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes, next. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Um, I've heard a lot of people, uh, while I play Griff Ball, mention that a lot of the maps uh, in the recent uh, Halo 4 game seem very similar. I mean, of course, the walls and the skins look all different, but are there any plans to possibly accept user-created grip ball arenas? Oh, right there. Like Good. So I'm going to stand up. This is our community cartographer, Nuclear Taco 42. And I can tell you with Halo Reach, you reviewed, what, over 500? 300. Over 300 maps. So, yes, we currently take community-created content. That's, I, by one definition, that's every map in matchmaking is community-created content. 
Okay. Okay. And like. for the matter of you're saying, yes, it's all a box and just skins. Well, yeah. yeah. The, but you're asking any change of maps. Isn't there a map we brought here that's kind of like the hand egg that someone made the sloped ramps? Oh, Not hand yeah. egg, I'm sorry. Different game types, types, I'm sorry. Oh, game types. Yes. Game types, game like the hand egg, um, different, because a lot of people liked um, the evade from reach. Mm -hmm. Use that trick a the lot. The barrel roll? The barrel roll, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was fun to use. But um, since Halo 4 does have limitations on armor abilities and different properties, is there any plans to uh, introduce more game types? To Did you ball? see Ricochet yesterday at the Halo 4 panel? <laughs> no, I didn't get up. a chance. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get Dash back into matchmaking. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking sorry, to this yeah. for those who can hear. We're trying to get Dash back into matchmaking. So for those who enjoyed Dash in Halo Reach, Shout out to you we're trying to get it in there. We're a minority. Real quick, um, <laughs> if you do minority. have a very cool Griff Ball game type, feel free to drop by our site. And, um, send it to we us. Can, yeah, right. send it to us because we would love to test it because obviously we can't come up with it organically. So we just it, steal it from other people. Yeah, right. <laughs> we need the credit, of course. But like, we're, we're more willing to try out game types that are not traditional Griff Ball, but yeah. have the spirit of it. Do you guys always. remember Smash Ball? Any Smash Ball fans in here? Yeah. Yes. That was one with the golf ball and the oh, golf yes. clubs. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, we did that one for a while. Uh, I know that Knockyard, who is another one of our uh, cartographers who's amazing, he's been working on jetpack versions of Griff Ball. They just I haven't, saw those, they yeah. haven't passed muster yet. Mm -hmm. And for those who didn't see Ricochet, it's a new game type that 343 introduced yesterday. It was a surprise to us, so we're really excited about it. But it's basically grip ball with guns, but they have these really cool uh, trait zones where you can actually pass the ball into it. So kind of like a free throw in, right. in basketball. Or oh, you can run it in like a touchdown. So it's kind of like football in that way where it's different points, different scores. Huh. We are really looking forward to what we can do with that as well. Sounds so if you've good. got a game type in mind, let us know. We would love to have it. We love variety. I'll Definitely. tell the others that uh, mentioned all that too. Because, uh, I mean... I'll play grip ball with them, and they'll say, "Yeah, it's always the same stuff. Everybody votes regular grip ball. I'm tired of it." So, they do. You know. I I always pro. vote grip ball pro. Yeah, just yeah. 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 random. Right. Like the yeah, so time. we're definitely trying. Awesome. <coughs> yeah, come on up. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. How's it going, guys? Um, I was wondering, as far as grip ball, I mean, it's obviously been a thing since like 2007, early 08. Um, there have been DLC maps, and even the base Halo 4 came with, I believe it was Erosion that had the Griff Ball pit. Mm -hmm. um, how much feedback does 343 get from y'all and y'all give to them um, as far as what goes in? I mean, Forge World had it as well. They hear from us a lot. Uh, I don't know how much they actually want to hear, but we are very, very vocal with them. Uh, when it comes to like the original map that they made, we played it once, we're like, this is way too big. We, and we basically rebuilt it from the ground up for them. We're like, here. Um, that's Sarge's lab. Yeah, no one's cheering for Sarge's lab. Too bright. Yeah, it's, it's too bright, you get blinded by the red lights. That was not our choice. Three or three asked us to make that for them, so we did. We want it out. Uh, but no, every map that goes in gets our okay before it goes, unless the ones that shipped on the disc. Uh, we're friends, but we're not, you know, invited to their barbecues just yet. We're working on it, though, so maybe we'll have a little more. Uh, this gentleman right here, he works at Microsoft with the nice hair. And so I'm going to point him out. Not, not for 343 and not for uh, Halo in particular, <laughs> but we're slowly working our way in. Um, so we keep on dropping off the fruit cake so we can get invited, right? Well, maybe that's why we're not getting invited. But yes. Uh, we, we do get a lot of feedback, and uh, we give a lot of feedback to them, and they are very receptive to what the community wants. They want to make Griff Ball that the community wants to play. And we let them know it very vocally. Yeah, 343 is very um, kind to us before Halo 4 launched. I mean, everybody knows how many game types got dropped moving from Reach to Halo 4, and like we don't have Race anymore, and we don't have Assault anymore. But for some reason, Griff Ball not only made it into Halo 4, but it got a promotion. The Griff Ball used to be just an assault game type that we would have to create, but Griff Ball is now one of the core like seven game types in Halo 4. And so yeah, they actually coded it from the ground up. Yeah, yeah, they really love Griff Ball at 343. There are a lot of Griff Ball fans. Uh, there's one team in the league called Green Army Junior that has like four or five 343 employees playing on it. Uh, Jess, VS Angel actually played in our tournament on Friday on the stage. Um, and then, then you guys just pick up Bravo and Ghost. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so Bravo, Bravo plays with them too. So a lot of three four three players those. play in the league. So if you've ever wanted to Bravo. beat Bravo, this is your chance. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 Go ahead. How do you guys create your maps? Like, do you think of themes or do you just like build them in an hour? Taco, why don't Taco just come up here? This is a map question. Uh, we don't. I, I forged a box once and I put it on YouTube and it took me about 10 minutes to, to forge a cube. And I didn't know about Snap or anything, so I, I am not allowed to touch We just created a taco for a taco. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> to answer your question, it's really more we let the creators have creative freedom with it. We don't really want to force it on people. I mean, for me, I kind of just, I get an idea and I just roll with it. I mean, obviously we have to have a box because it's grip ball. We don't want to have any obstructions or anything. But really, we try to pick the maps that look the most unique, but still keep the same kind of formula. Of it's a box with two goals in it. I mean, if you put a kill ball on your map, you will be rejected. Yeah. I will just tell you that <laughs> right no away. Balls. Man cannons, no. Kill balls, no. man cannons, water. Anything that can cause frame rate, we don't want it. Because it'll, obviously it hurts performance and it hurts the enjoyment of the game. So I want to keep that out. What well, if your word choice of roll with it? <laughs> Unintentional. Yeah. There have been some really creative maps too that if we have the standard box score. Actually, uh, Knockyard, who's one of the recent people who approves all the maps before they go into matchmaking, he actually has a template on his file share that has the spawn set, it has you know rough walls set, it has uh, the uh, goals set, so that those are all standard size, so you can just build from there. And there are some really creative maps. Like who remembers Concave from da or uh, from Halo Reach? The half -life? Yeah, like that map, you know, the spawns were correct, the goals were correct, but obviously that person took liberties with the walls to make it even more fun, put a unique twist on it, and things like that are more than welcome. Shaking heads up. No. No. Yes. 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 If you yes, couldn't please. hear him, he said Chichen Itza. Anybody from Halo 3 remember Chichen Itza? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. I still have flashbacks. Yes. They're not cheering, they're not cheering, yeah. they're, they're, they're screaming. Like, vertical walls, or like, really steep walls and you could like fall off the sides and stuff and it was the worst thing that ever happened. I'm having flashbacks. Flashbacks! Okay, okay we'll breathe. We'll breathe. Yeah, go ahead. Howdy. Hi. How hard is it to get Griffball onto the MLG scene considering it's a game type within a game where you have most games, well, it's kind of like Starcraft or um, Root with the Thought and Black Ops and um, Halo are all just games and they play game types within the games. What, did you mean AGL? Because MLG no longer supports Halo. I still get the letters mixed up all the time, so like the Arena Gaming League, because they're the, the pro circuit for Halo now. Oh, I didn't know it, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 MLG dropped Halo for COD. Boo. <laughs> We're not biased or anything. No, no, we're not biased. It was um, fishy. <laughs> but yeah, you one ALG, considering a game, it's a game type within a game. We yeah. are currently talking with them about such things. That's, I see some happy faces. Um, That's my face. They, it, what's really interesting is the first time I talked with them, they were like, you know, I told them what I did, and I'm like, Haha, Paul, that's so funny, you guys are so cute. I'm like, no, we actually have over 3,000 members, and last season we had over 600 teams sign up. So, yeah, your move. And suddenly, <laughs> suddenly they took us a lot more seriously. And then we dropped, you know, hey, we, we know Waypoint, and uh, then they liked us even more. So, name dropping, always positive. Always. Where's the fact that we have to pick them up? What? Oh God! <laughs> so, uh, what I can say right now, I'm going to be very frank. Like, what I can say right now is that we are talking with them. I can make no promises, no guarantees, but we we have each other's emails and we talk. We're probably going to send Christmas cards this year. So, be on the lookout. It, it might happen. We're, we're 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 trying very hard to make it happen. It's a dream. Yes. Thank you. I will provide back massages if that helps. Just stop. I'm going to be in you. Hi. So, I'm just, uh, I was wondering, the three games that support Griff Ball, Halo 3 Reach and Halo 4, which one's your favorite to play on? Oh. Four. Uh, <laughs> three. You're still up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally okay. I just, I, I was really taken surprised by that. Okay, so, taco number one says four. TBH? Just say. I, I'm going to say... Reach, but it has to be Dash. Yes. Whoa. Yes. I played it for the first time in about a year yesterday, and it was amazing. Man. Green Army Junior, shout out to you. I have to go with Halo Three because I was good then. <laughs> um, uh, but I do absolutely love for the excitement of Grip Ball watching it. Halo Four with its passing has added a lot to the 
Cripple. I'll say Halo 3, but I was never good. So, um, Halo 3, I started on it, really loved it. I love the hammer and the launching mechanic. That, to me, is what made the game so much fun. If I could take the passing from Halo 4 and put it in Halo 3, I would never do anything else with my life ever. Um, that's all I would do. Sorry, sweetie. I understand. I would say Halo 4 for me, uh, but like Goose said, if I could take the physics from Halo 3, the passing from Halo 4, and the net code, you know, the lack of lag and the like from reach, combine those three elements, I think that would be the ultimate grip fall game. That would be optimal. What's your favorite? Mine's probably 4. Probably 4? Did you start playing 4? Uh, I played 3 on oh, reach. Okay. I just I think I can kill more people with a hammer. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice. nice. Great question. Hi. Hi. Um, I just had a quick question, kind of about the site. Um, with the new game type Ricochet, um, obviously since it was just announced yesterday, uh, do you guys think uh, you would help or have a sub uh, or a sub uh, group within uh, y'all's site for that game type as a community? I can tell you that RicochetHub.com is already bought, so <laughs> <laughs> that was purchased already, so sniped out. Um, we don't really know. Uh, we got a little bit of a heads up that that was coming, which is when we stole the lightning. And other than that, we, we haven't played it yet. We weren't privy to that information until about like five hours before it was, uh, was revealed. So we we're interested in it. We're really interested to see what we can take from that and put into Griffball, like the explosion. I would really like that back. As far as Ricochet, the game, it's tough because grip ball, we don't, we don't shoot guns, we don't light guns, right. <laughs> shooting Halo is a different thing. Shooting Halo. But, it's, I mean, we supported Smash Ball when that was up. Shout you know, we, Smash Ball. we also supported uh, Griff Goose, which is when you played Griff Ball on Monkeys. You know, we, have, we even have a racing section on our site, which has nothing to do with Griff Ball at all. So if there is community interest, you better believe we'll have, it has a home on our site. Okay, if the yeah. community wants it. I mean, there's uh, a Let's Play of Minecraft starting up now. Uh, from a few community members, so yeah, like you're saying, yeah, so everything pops up. Like poker right. nights on Full House Poker, it's just crazy. So yeah, if the community wants it, we are more than willing to do it. Okay, crazy idea. Let's take Ricochet and let's drop all the guns, put in hammers and swords, and let's put it on like this box court where there's no obstructions. <laughs> let's do that. We can, let's just call it grip ball. And then have a fifth player as a goalie. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. Two goals per side. There you go. Oh, yeah, two yeah. goals per side of touchdown and a field goal. Yep. See, we're, we're generating ideas See. right now, and we will claim them all as our own. Don't think that I wasn't up all night think about this. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great question. All right. Uh, bit of an uh, overachiever over question. Uh, what would it take to get up into the ranks of the Grip Ball Pro League? Connection. Uh, okay. <laughs> Our answer. Um, the first thing, I mean, you got to get involved in the community. Uh, one of the toughest things about being in the pro league is that you have to get picked up now. You have to be bought or bid on by players who are at least as old as we are, if not older, as far in like grip ball years. So the first thing is getting noticed, which means coming to the site, being on the forum, participating in scrims, you know, when we have our tournaments, you know, being there. We have uh, mixers where people can come and like scout players. So showing up to those events is really your first step. And if you make a good impression, it's a really good thing. Uh, another thing you do is play in the GGL. That's our kind of more laid back league. You know, you bring in your own team or you make a team, and you, it's just lulzy. Like we do stupid stuff. No one's really playing to win. We're just playing to have fun, and then it gets a little more competitive later on, and we just use that line to cover it. So playing in the GGL is also in a really good way to get noticed by people who would be interested in picking people up for next season. So yeah, first thing, get on the site, get involved. Make your presence known, because you can't pick up somebody you don't know exists. Any other tips, guys? Uh, uh, well, you're about to say, go yeah. ahead. You're going. Uh, I was going to say, like, one of the key traits uh, uh, really for grip ball is awareness. Uh, radar <laughs> awareness, make sure you're not betraying and whatnot. Um, that's really helpful in the first step. If you have that, um, you can start improving on things like dancing skills and such, and communication. But I really think awareness is the core foundation of a good griff baller. Radar is definitely your best friend. Yeah. Six cents. And what you're doing right now is, actually that's probably the pre-first step, is just asking. Because if you go on the hub and you ask a question, you're probably going to get overwhelmed with people trying to help you. <laughs> everybody has their own opinion on what makes a good tank and what makes a good runner, but everybody wants to help. 
So yeah, asking the question is, is definitely the first step. And then I'll just throw in one. Um, Matchmaking is great and all, but after you join the community, make some great ball friends, <coughs> get them on your friends list, customs, customs, customs. Yeah. Matchmaking, you can, you know, stomp on as many matchmaking people as you want, you know. Customs is where you're going to get your skill. Make some Grip friends, start up some custom games, learn the skills from the people who have been here. Not that there's not great matchmaking. Players. Yes, we, we love you all. <laughs> yeah, well, one thing to also keep in mind is right now, this very second, and running through next Friday, we have league signups open for that league Goose mentioned, our friendly league. So that's a good chance that if you have a team, or if you can join a team, uh, you can sign up for that. We'll play Griff Ball. We'll give you a night to play that's, that you're free to play. You'll get on one night a week, play two games a week, and you get to meet some new Griff Ballers, add people to your friends list, and get noticed in the community and get some really great practice. So signups are open right now for our GGL. That's our right, right lead. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Do you already have one of these? Yes, I do. All right, well, then why don't we give you... We've got, I think we've got a large here and a medium there. You know? Please All right, take, please take it. There's the star of the tournament right here. <laughs> it's my favorite group baller this weekend. Yeah, if anybody saw uh, the attendee tournament yesterday, we had a no-show team. I just want everybody to know that it was the pro players. Not the pro Grippo players, but the pro Halo players that didn't show up. <laughs> How much is the team stacked down? Too afraid. <laughs> Too afraid. And so we needed people to step up, and this young lady right here, Jinx, is one of the people that stepped up to play. No warm-up, no idea what was going on, and uh, in the back is that, yes, right there, there's another lady, stand up. Yeah. There's another lady who stepped up to the plate. They yeah. just went <laughs> Amazing. The best defensive stops to solve. So, yeah, her running skills were kind of legit, too. So, I'm sorry, what's your question? <laughs> uh, I actually have two questions. The okay. first one is, do you think the Hot Bikini guys will ever lose? Well, yes. I, think, yeah. I yes. think you can ask yeah. easy as yeah. I and four guys one ball. On and yeah. who, else, who else has all beat you? Get out of here. Yeah, talk about <laughs> I just want to say the one time there's actually a prize, we beat them. That's true. That That's is true. true. <laughs> okay, Gingy goes and watches. There was a, we did a flag tournament. Uh, flag is fight like a girl. It raises awareness and funds for breast cancer yes. research. And so we ran a grip ball tournament for them. And the prize, what was like these really sick controllers, right? And headphones. No, Triton headsets. Oh, Triton headsets. headsets. That's what it was. And it came down to Hot Bikini guys and tacos. Uh, the other tacos team and Green Army Junior beat the Hot Bikini guys. So yes, they are defeatable. Yeah. Especially when I play for them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we love you anyways. Thank you. We picked you up for your body. I told you that earlier. Oh my gosh. So, second question? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, do you have any tips for um, how to be a better runner? You touched on it. You got a couple hours? Awesome. I mean, it is awareness, especially the runner. You, you, you equate it to the quarterback of the field. While they're not maybe commanding everyone, they have to be aware of where the enemy is. Check in radar to make sure they're not getting snuck up on. Constantly counting down if there's four enemies ahead of them. If there's a sword ninja on your uh, plant, you know, crouching on plant to try to kill. It just it takes a lot of attention to detail. And then communication is the second best thing because you got to be able to tell your teammates crouch and left, you know. And, um, and I think that's the two keys. Well, I'm not a great runner like a couple guys over here in Cal. Um, Wait, you said great runner? <laughs> Um, oh, you can I mean, that, that's really what it breaks down. <laughs> no one? Yeah, I would say that as the runner, you're usually, but you usually have your three tanks in front of you, so you're behind them. So really, you have the best view of the entire court. So you should be the one telling your tanks where they need to go so you can get a lane to go in for the score. Also, don't be a hero that to score, the runner usually doesn't have to stiff arm like two or three people in the face. Let your tanks do the work, and we're going to just don't, we're going to not turning over the ball, just maintaining possession. So your tanks can clear a path and get in the score. Don't be a hero unless your name's Taco Pizza. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the exception to every rule. No one likes My you tips know. are just, if you're running, do not back up. I recommend don't backing up into a corner. Stay I got a personal corners. experience. Just like, yes. ooh, ooh, don't I cross your plan. Yeah, oh, don't cross the plan oh. I'm, not a, I'm not a runner, I'm a tank. I kill things till they're dead and I kill them again. And I'm perfectly fine <laughs> not, with not being a runner at all. But that was my one tip. So it drives me insane when we commentate. People holding the ball, they're running away from the enemy, and they cross their own pad. They cross their own bomb plant. And a lot of times you get sword sniped, and there's, there's no recovering. There's no way your tanks, who are working so hard for you, 
can defend anything <laughs> if you take the ball to your own goal plant and like, here, please kill me here. So yeah, no corners and stay away from your own bomb plant, win under pressure. And the number one rule that will come up with commentating Halo 4, don't jump towards the plant. The physics <laughs> are so um, bouncy. Especially in Halo 4. Yeah, in Halo yeah. 4. There's gravity in the gravity hammer. Yeah, it's got, it's got a little bit of a pop to it. So don't jump towards the plant unless absolutely unnecessarily. Keep your boots to on the ground. Yeah. Keep on the ground, the score will fly. No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you for meeting with the line. Hi! Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing alright. Um, I'm actually a founding member of our school's first uh, video game club. Awesome! awesome. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah, you're welcome! Yeah. 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 The clock is necessary. Vice President. So I made all the actual decisions. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't know anything about Griffball until I actually joined, so then they introduced me whenever we did meetings and stuff. Yeah. So they had me got to thinking, um, how often do you, like the members of the podcast, how often do you and how well do you play the other uh, Halo game types like Slayer, Oddball, stuff like that. He's talking about there are other game types. Yeah, what is, what is, what is, what is Shooting Halo. Amazing. Yeah, Shooting Halo. Did you see the shooting we had? It's Halo Four Griffball hey, edition. To be fair, we had what four or five Griffballers in the round three of the championship. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to Betty, Nanadel, Mingo, Mur, uh, Mur, Mur right and um, Joe Pro made it third round. And I feel like I'm missing someone else, but oh, um, Dusty right there. Dusty and Taco over here. So. Yeah. Um, I know Puppy, the owner, he has Shooty Halo all the like, Wait, where's Mango? Mango's in line. Oh, okay, yeah, Mango's, he's our backpack. Whenever we do Shooty yeah. Halo nights, we just all crawl in the Mango's backpack and he carries us to safety. Um, but no, we, we do play Shooty Halo, um, Infection, Flag, I love Flag. I love it a lot. I love the salt. So, yeah. I mean, not saying, oh, I personally not that, that fantastic at it. Um, but we do play Shooty Halo and we do get groups together and we go out and, you know, like once a week or so, we'll just get on and play something other than... Griffball. I gotta say, Griffballers make really great oddball players. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Your yeah. skills through the roof. Yeah. Stiff arm five really people. Good. That's it where we may be good at ricochet. We won't be able to shoot That's a gun, but we'll pass it over again. Yeah. We'll straight up go negative 400, but win. Does that answer your question? Yeah. All right, come on up. All right. You want, you want a shirt? Do you want a shirt? I would love a shirt. Okay, uh, we got a large. That's things we got. Okay, take it. Hello. Hello. Um, like you gave tips for running. Do you have any tank tips? Ooh, yes. yes. Watch your radar. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like I cannot. There are times I don't even look at my screen. I literally tank by staring at my radar because I have some members of my team who don't watch their radar, and I'm more afraid of my own teammates than I am of the other team. So, right there. Yes, yeah, there's one of them right there. Um, I don't know. Really, it's Falcon. Hi, Falcon. Um, yeah, Leo too, he knows. Um, That's why he's laughing. So for tanks, one of the most important things I would say, if you don't take one tip, watch your radar. Not only to see the enemy, but to see your teammates. Because if they are, I would say, up my butt, I'm like, I tell them to get off of me. Because if I swing, they're going to die. If they swing, I'm going to die. And betrayals are, will cripple a team faster than anything else. So it's a text. It's a text. Um, so tanking, watch your radar. The second thing is be patient. One thing that we see a lot in matchmaking is you spot and you go da 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 And if you watch, uh, if you were watching Hot Bikini Guys when they were playing earlier today or during the pro tournament, you probably noticed a lot of what we can we call dancing, where you go da 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 you gotta shift back and forth, you're like, you gonna go, where are you gonna go? You Just know? take a step back, wait for them to swing, go forward. Strafing to, to the side is really effective too, because the hammer, you have to point to shoot. Halo 3 hammer, you can swing and everything around you explodes. In Region Halo 4, it really, you have to, it's like a gun almost, you have to direct it at somebody. So if you can sidestep a swing and then step in and hammer, those are the two biggest differences between people who only play matchmaking and people who play in the leagues. And there's a huge world of difference as a tank for that. You will crush people in matchmaking if you just hammer dance. <laughs> now, as the only pro tank here. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> um, Spacey, keep space out, because it does help with the trails and know your runner. If you know your runners not getting the stiff arms that they usually do, um, and you see an enemy tank trailing in, you don't want that one-on-one -on, -one on your runner, you know, tell them I want to cut back and take them out, or push forward. I mean, it's really about knowing when to push forward. If you got 
Um, a two enemy takes it from you, and two back at your spawn, and your runners, you and your runners at the midcourt, try to charge forward, take out the one tank, and have give your runner an opportunity for a one on one to score. It's just knowing when to go forward and when not. But um, everything you said is absolutely the core fundamentals. But spacing is a huge thing, as I played with Green Army for many years, and we had a good old Greenhorn. He doesn't believe in personal space. He kills everything on his team. Yes. <laughs> Would you like a t-shirt or a cinch bag? Sure. Sure? All right. It's a little large. Is that okay? Oh, cinch bag? Okay. Medium. Oh, medium. Medium? Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Um, um, how often do you guys make your maps for Griff Ball? <laughs> That's why you're up here. Yeah, seriously. We should just... He's not just up here for his good looks. That's a large part of it, though. Yes. Um, it is. So really, it, it comes down to... <laughs> it comes down to when people submit them. Uh, as far as like playlist revisions and stuff, is that, I'm assuming that's kind of what, like when they go into yeah. the playlist and stuff, that really comes down to when uh, the 343 team is ready to push out another update for Griff Ball. Okay. Um, Knockyard, our other forger, he's really, he has one of the community uh, cartographers for 343, so he has a pretty much direct line, so he's trying to get newer ones in, and usually we try to do at least every other month. We try to get something new in there, <coughs> but really, getting new maps is all up to when the creators submit them. Because we have a submission form on our uh, on our forums that you can submit it and I'll look at it, and then go from there. We can hopefully get into matchmaking here. Because outside of Taco here, you don't want us creating the maps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did make a box once. Yeah. Yeah. There is a video group of that. There it is. Yeah. Awesome. When, when you submit a map to Taco, uh, what he does is he looks it over. You know, make sure everything looks okay, and then he'll make a thread in our forum specifically for your map, so that it has a couple pictures of it, a link to it, you know, name of the creator, and people can post feedback in that thread to give you more feedback. In and the map. then community favorites are usually the ones that get suggested for matchmaking. Yeah, that's where we look when we look for a matchmaking update. We look at that forum and look at the maps that have been there, have been through that process. Last disclaimer, though, we do not have the final say. We give the maps to Waypoint, and if they decide to use them, that's great. If they don't. You know, they, they get the final say. We did get a map in the Re Halo Reach matchmaking. It was the Hot Bikini Guys home court, and it actually got taken down. Um, <laughs> only they, map. The only map to ever be removed. Only map with nipples. Yeah. Apparently. They, they had a little bikini guy in the middle of the triangle with a little dot in the triangle, and apparently um, the Waypoint people thought that was a little too, uh, too graphic. For because it was a cold court. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cold. Thank you. We have a large bag. Oh, this is awesome. Right. What is that? Head crabs. Head crabs. Head? Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Half-Life. Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I've been a long-time fan of Griff Ball. I kind of fell away since I had college internet, and then I kind of just gave up on Xbox Live after that. I was in Spring League 08, I think. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Nice. So, like, you know, back then in the days, it was all about getting the, um, you know, trying to get your flowers on uh -huh. and all the uh, hammer jumps and everything. So like what's like I haven't really been following the most recent stuff, but what's like the big plays that everybody's trying to do nowadays? First off, rest in peace, flowers and the hammer jumps. Yeah. 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 Rip. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> it's okay. It was good times. <laughs> I'll just you. jump in I guess. Um <laughs> I Mr. mean I, they, they, <laughs> There's limits now on what we can do um, with how the gravity is. Halo 3 has the best gravity. Uh, Hands around. down. Yeah. So, I mean, there's still some launching. It doesn't work as well as Halo 3, but there's still launching. <laughs> I, I do want to say, like, because I get to commentate, one of the most exciting things to watch, and um, Green Army Jr. and the Hobby King guys really do it the, probably the best that I've seen thus far is the, like the triple passing, almost like basketball. Mm -hmm. um, and I talked about that on the main stage where he'll be in the offensive uh, pocket, he'll throw it all the way across. And I know he's notorious for passing and then going straight for the plant and getting ignored somehow. <laughs> I don't know, dodging weave, I, I have no idea. But uh, pass it the opposite corner, and then you have a guy barreling down the middle, and it's really sweet when you just hit that guy going straight down the middle and the defense splits. It's kind of cool. Just, I mean, triangle offense, essentially. It's just stuff like that. You you see strategy developing what passes down. For me, that's probably some of the most exciting stuff. And amazing interceptions, like Crusader. 
That is the best interception of all time. Two, the ball. two guys in two times in one game. Yeah, like, two goal times. Against, like, against, against us. Back. Against us. It, it was oh. amazing. <laughs> um, so any defensive play is really, defensive interception is absolutely amazing because the passing is so new to us. Um, that's kind of like our shiny new toy to yeah. play with. So we like seeing that stuff, or I do personally. Yeah, I agree. Great question. All right, we only have mediums left. You want medium or you can do that? Oh, yeah, Griff Boss shirt. That okay. guy. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if you're ever going to get a, like an in-game armor that's called like a Griff Ball uniform for like maybe Halo 4 or Halo 5, which probably is going to have the game since it's so popular. Well, what we actually saw, and again, this was, this was a surprise to us, that at Ricochet they actually revealed an armor, and I think they referred to it as the sports armor. And what it looks like, it looks like football shoulder pads from like here up. It's really bulky, and in the center it's really slim. And then the face mat or the, the helmet, it looks like a, a football helmet. Like the visor's yeah. down, and there's actually a grid, like a like football a, player a mask. Cage. Yeah, a cage across yeah. the face. So they made that for Ricochet as a sport, but they also mentioned that grip ball players would probably like it. So as far as that goes, it, it might already be here. If you think you know, if you didn't get to see it, watch it. But if you think about on the Fox Sports, the little robot guy, that's kind of yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, that I, uh, Cletus. His name is Cletus. Yeah, Cletus. Yeah. So that's what it kind of looks like. So it's it's pretty exciting. I mean, um, it's always great when they you know surprises from your stuff and you directly mention us. But um, but different enough for legal reasons. Yes, yeah. different enough for legal reasons. Yeah. There you go. So any Microsoft. that's the most we know about that. Um, we don't really have any say in armor at all. That is all certain affinity, and that's all three four three. Otherwise, you would see like. Unicorns and all sorts. I think of unicorns. Peg, 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 peg corn. I'm sorry. And you know, we buckets. Have wings and yeah, that'd be awesome. Red pandas. Buckets. Red pandas. Yeah. <laughs> Bikinis. Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably definitely going to be in Halo Five, seeing how it's popular. Um. We don't know uh, if Griffball is going to be in Halo 5. That's entirely the call of 343. Um, but like I said before, there are a lot of Griffball fans at 343, and I think a lot of people would be surprised if it wasn't in Halo 5. But we don't know anything for sure. I want to play Bernie at Neo Valley. Yeah, totally is. <laughs> <laughs> yep, because totally. we have zero liability. Yeah. I fully endorse that there, There's a unicorn sitting there, so just don't, don't mind me. Yeah, that's the herd from our... Uh, oh, yeah, the herd. Shout, shout out to the herd from the tournament oh. yesterday. They, they played very well in those uh, masks. I was actually very impressed uh, how well they played with very limited visibility. So Sorry for beating you. <laughs> hey, it's cold. <laughs> Do you think the new game type is going to be a replacement for Griffball? No. 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 It's an add-on for Griffball. How about that? We get to play with it. They still love us more. Yeah. They didn't call us last night, though. I mean, as long as we always have a game type, Grip Ball will exist in some form or fashion. And uh, who was it? Was it you, Taco, saying as long as Forge exists in any future iterations, we will do our best to make Grip Ball exist? Um, you figure if they didn't want Grip Ball, why would they spend time to put it on the disc? Yeah. You know, that, that's a huge undertaking. And it was like a last minute thing, too, where they really, but, you know, Kevin Franklin, my, my favorite. Um, he really busted his stuff to get that done, and they they are so supportive of us that no, we're not worried about it replacing us. It's just something really cool, extra that we get to do. It makes those people who suck with hammers and are like all one v one you and snipers. It puts them a little more on our level. So. Yeah, you know, it was yesterday when they did the big Halo Four. Uh, $200,000 prizes and they were announcing the game types that would be used in there. The only reason they didn't put Grip Ball up there is because we'd show everybody up and they're afraid. Yes. <laughs> oh man, this guy. Oh yeah. Oh, no, go away. Nash, I, I just have a quick question for Taco no. Pizza Hunter. Oh, no. no. I know? Yes. Go. Yeah. Is it true you know the actual H2O camper? <laughs> <laughs> Really funny for grip ball hummers, all right? That is like a joke inside a joke inside a joke on the inside of some I love you, Tommy. Straight up, I love you. Oh. Right, so, the, so there's a, our H2O camper is the guy who does our highlight reels. You know, the one you just saw and the one you're going to see. He did a highlight frenzy back in Halo Reach that was on Halo Waypoint. And Taco Pizza Hunter was practically in every single one of those highlight reels because he's a highlight machine. And so uh, Camper got a message on Xbox Live saying, oh, are you H2O camper? Are you the highlight guy? He said, yes, yes I am. Do you know Taco Pizza Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> the owner. Week. The owner of Grip Ball. Uh, it's kind of like asking, you know, Barack Obama, do you know Joe Biden? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a good parallel. Yeah. Bobby Pop. Um, what would you say is your uh, favorite fan submitted map? 
Oh, great ball. Ooh, nice. That's a good one. Favorite fans? Why don't we start with Taco? Yeah, Taco, why don't you start? We, we need time to think. Do I count as a fan? <laughs> I mean, you said fan and not staff member. Don't be biased. Yeah. Fan. Okay. Okay. Um, uh oh. Alright, I'm going to think too. Hang on. I'll jump in. I don't know the name of it, but I just saw it this weekend. That one with all the pretty colors. Warfield Neon by yes. Fiery Gobrat? Yes. No. It, no. I like it. Frame I'm on hot bikini, guys. I like my colors. <laughs> okay, I know my favorite. Oh no, I was made by Nokia, so it's not fans. Alright, I'm gonna say uh, the one I mentioned earlier, Concave Arena from uh, Halo Reach. It was so much fun playing Dash on that map, because you can either barrel roll or sprint off from the curb point, jump, and you can jump like half the length of the court right into the plant. That was my favorite map for each. You're gonna have to help me out on this one. The, the one that looked like a cathedral that was created in Reach. Oh, yeah, that was great. It was no Ab the what? No Notre Griff. Uh, who created it? I can't remember his name, but it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, with Halo Reach, it, it was unfortunate because we had old, only one color palette, so everything was really gray and silver, you know, kind of boring. But this guy went in, Dr. Manhattan was his name to create, made a beautiful map that was, literally resembled a cathedral. And that, that map just blew me away when I stepped on it, outside of Knockyard's maps and Taco's maps. Um, so that was really the first band created map that I could really remember. Yeah, my favorite map was actually created by him, so I won't, I won't say it. It's called Cliffside. Um, but my fan favorite, um, I think I should just add it. Where did it go? It's right there. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. I got it. Thin Nice is my favorite map, though, right now. Just because we're Oh, good. I know what it is. Uh, there's a map, and it's not in matchmaking yet. It's a Joel in the Forms. It's called Pegacorn Palace. And, <laughs> yeah, by Ovex. And I'm, I'm a huge Pegacorn fan. You know, Unicorn, Pegasus. Bam. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a map made by a community member named Pegacorn Palace, so that's my favorite. Okay, just to be fair to everyone, I've seen over 500 maps. I don't remember them. <laughs> I don't. Is it my film? <laughs> no, it's not my um, I honestly don't have a fan favorite because I've seen so many. I mean, personally, I have my favorites, which are usually mine, but, you know, that's biased. <laughs> but my highlights are my favorite, too. So. <laughs> I think my favorite map ever is Sierra Vista. But which is a reach dash map, but I don't have a fan favorite just because I've seen so many. That was a good question. No, no, that was very good question. I didn't think about that one. All right, no pressure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So I just live. Okay. Uh. So for the league that is opening up, are the, like the practices for every team on a specific night, or are they like separate nights? Practice when you or, <laughs> yeah, yeah your league your league yeah. game, your league games yeah yeah so when you sign up there's a list of uh, seven different date and time combinations uh, it's like Monday at eight or Wednesday at ten and things like that so you pick the one that works best for your team that you know everyone can be on at that time and play and we're gonna put you in a division with five other teams that have the exact same availability so your games will be scheduled at that time every week so you get to pick what time works best for you you're only going to be expected to be online at that time every week. So say you get on, you know, you play Halo with your friends every Wednesday night, so you can sign up for the Wednesday at 10 o'clock time, and then and when the schedule comes out, we'll say, okay, on this Wednesday, you're gonna be playing this team and this team. Next Wednesday, you're playing that team and that team. And then it goes, the season is five weeks long. Okay. And if you're asking specifically about practicing, that's usually up to the captain. Whoever's the captain, because my team never practices. <laughs> <laughs> never. It's a green army standard. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. We have a forum where teams ask for scrimmages and stuff like that. So yeah, the more informal stuff is, is up to the teams and up to the captains, but the games are scheduled day and time, and it's the same for the entire season. Oh, and for super in-depth info, front page article of the hub, wasn't that put out like two yes, days ago? Yes, two days ago we had a big they article. Lay it out for everything, you need, everything you need to know about the league is on the front page of griffballhub.com right now. Um, yeah, okay. sign-ups are open until next Friday, so you got all of this week to sign up. <laughs> all right, thanks. Thank you. Um, okay, so my question here is, if you could change anything in Griff Ball, if you had the chance at all to change anything in the next Halo and Halo 5, what would it be? Who's going to say it first? I got it. Host. No, connection. dedicated servers. We got it already. Well, that's what I'm saying. I want to get, I want to get rid of that. Yes. It, well, well, not dedicated not, no, servers. No, we want dedicated servers. Yes. Yes. All right. We that, want those, all in, but all, all, all the time. I think that's pretty universal. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. Um, yes. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Desi just said spectator mode, because we've kind yeah. of magically created one through the, the powers of Forge. Um, people don't like it because there's a race underneath the map. Viewers love it. Yeah, viewers love it. And that's all that matters. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's probably the biggest thing for me is the connection. 
because uh, it can be a really big issue when you've got one person in Seattle, one person in Italy, and they're trying to play a game together. Woohoo! <laughs> she's from, she's, uh, she came from Italy, so uh, yeah, that's, that's my thing. Boot her out. Um, Did you say booger? I said boot her oh. out. Oh. Uh, yeah. Love you too. Everybody on the team. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I would say that I would love the ability to have a uh, multi-team Griff Ball and uh, changing the colors of the teams because I am green army. Uh, so a little bit of bias is there, but um, I think those two things, the spectator mode would probably be an instantly since we know that we're getting dedicated service. Spectator yeah. mode would be fantastic since now I have so much focus on the, the, the streaming and commentating. Mm -hmm. uh, I think for me, I would like to have the full physics from Halo 3 back with the hammer. Hammer jumping, steel one. Sorry, uh, you should have went first. You can share your both Um But I really <laughs> miss talk. just having that dynamic <laughs> along with the passing would be ridiculous. So I would just, I would love to have that, and also something that no one else wants. I want the glowing over shield back. I really miss that because <laughs> it was really easy to pick the runner out. You like, want over shield? Okay. And just to touch on it, um, definitely the speed of the hammer. Slowing down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that way I can I could dance again. Um, uh, Halo 4's hammer is really fast, so, but... I'm reading the 10 minute warning, well, which is... Hold on. Well, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying 10 minute warning, so everybody in line, you're good to go. I have a bad? Yeah, I want one turn. So, for the whole fix question, um, or, uh, piggyback on his with the hammer effect to the extent of when you swing it, people in the air should be affected by it, like it was in Halo 3, because that just made for awesome launches, as well as it's nearly better in Halo 4, but the runner should be able to get as many stiffs as he wants with as much shields as he no. has. No. Yes. No. If you are no shields and you are a runner and you connect, you get that stiff. No, runners should be scared to alone and huddling in their corners. Unless it's a sword. Taco Pizza are not reflected by Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just want to say that if we had the Halo 3 dynamic with the unlimited sword punches, I would like to have that back, not necessarily hammers. Yeah, not hammers. Sword That's clashing? Like Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Sword battles. No, I'm saying sword clash. Sword, sword, sword battles. Sword clashing would be cool. That would be cool too. No more trades. Yeah. No, yeah. no mutuals. I veto that. All right, next gentleman no, yeah, who we, we have never seen before. Yes. Hello. <laughs> so, considering we had the human highlight reel Taco Pizza Hunter on the panel, who are your top five trick runners? What are we talking about? Is this for TPH? For anyone. Oh. One, like one, one, two, three, four, runners. five? Top five trick runners or human highlight reels? Go. Can we all just list one? Because top fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want everyone to say they're, they're who I'm, I'm excluded. One. I'm excluded. Just out of there. All right, I'm going to start. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say Halo Four Griff Ball. I think Crusader because I think Crusader has the best court awareness and he passes the ball around to keep us safe. So uh, four guys one ball really limits the number of turnovers they have. Shadow is sixteen. Yes. Lightsaber makes plays. First second mango. Plant. <laughs> oh, who said that? <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, yes. Thank you. I don't like runners. Very <laughs> one. So it's one of the guys who was there when they actually were making the game uh, type originally way back in the day and when he originally ate Griff Ballers. I know I've seen a bunch of guys who were here What's like uh, Team SG1. Oh, yes. winner. Winner Winners. of the very uh, first I'm ever Griff I'm Dixon IJ mm -hmm. on uh, okay, yeah. sets. If you've seen me around, I haven't played Griff Ball in like three, four years, but I'm happy to see you guys are still taking it forward and everything like that. From where we were way back in the day, it's like, hey, let's just fucking do this. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, you know, there's a bunch of people just getting together. Now it's awesome to see you guys doing that. Uh, Crow says hi. Oh, hi, Crow. Um, and. Oh, crap, man. Oh, okay, question. And anyway, just want to say thanks, guys. So. Oh, well, thank you. you for starting it. I mean, without you, we wouldn't be here. So. Yeah. So how did each of y'all become a part or get the idea to create Griff Ball Hub? Alright. Because so I've never, I've honestly never heard of you guys until today. Alright, so way, way, way long time ago in 2008, uh, our owner, Pup Tastry, created the site as a way to just, because um, Griffball.com was not really set up for fans. It was set up to play your games, have your stats, and trash talk your opponents to death. And there wasn't room for like content. There wasn't room for you know articles and discussion and you know top ten lists. And so that's why Griffall Hub was created. So you're created all the way back then, and we've been doing it ever since. 
So that's where we got our start from. And we've slowly brought people onto the staff beforehand. Uh, Pump was the original. He had Holm Cross and Dragon with him. Tex is one of the uh, originals. I got picked up because I started spamming them with articles every single day, and I wouldn't leave them alone until they finally hired me. <laughs> Taco was our first huge fanboy, and he was so nice that we put him on the staff. He's Look married. At that face. He's married to me, so by proxy, he got, got you know, slapped his way out of the staff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's, that's how Griffal Hub got started. It was just a fan thing that we wanted to do to support as an, like as an ancillary to Griffal.com. But then they never fixed Griffal.com, and the stats went away, and the usability went away, and it's a 404 right now. And so, oh, I think it, it might redirect to the Hub. Redirect. But yeah, now we, we are Griffal. Everything Griffal related comes through us. So it's really been a journey from just being fans to really being the creators. Right, cool. we, we've got codes and buttons and stuff if you want. All right, very, very quick. We, uh, Let's go, Lamb Chow. What would you say is your uh, greatest moment on the court? Playing Red Ray and winning for the pro uh, pro. Yes, game. beating Red Ray and pro. Beating, beating Zoo Monkeys. Ooh, that's good. Uh, the last clip you saw in my highlight reel. Really. <laughs> Not your championship? On. Championship was great, even though it was super funky. Um, hey, you have a legitimate one now, Friday. That's true, that's true. Given, <laughs> anyways, the last clip, if, go watch it. Uh, I think mine is when my, my teammate that I play with right now decided to score 687ths of a point. <laughs> All right. You heard that correctly, 687ths. He picked the ball up, walked two feet, dropped it, and said, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rapid fire questions, two, go. Uh, for those of us in the league, what's the best way to look at game video to get better? Watch, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> well, yeah, first watch person, the, third person. Watch the commentating. As well, like, because when you get different perspective, it's really insightful. Right? Um, yes. I'm not saying just that to watch us. I mean, yes, watch I would me. say uh, third person because you, then you can see how people. It's like they do in, in uh, football games where they have like the circle and some people over here, and you can really see how everybody lined up and how your defense broke down or how your offense pushed through. You can really see how that happens. So I'd say third person. Yeah. Tune in to Wednesday night Griff Brawl every Wednesday night at 9:30 p.m. Eastern. These two have live stream Griff Ball, commentated walkthrough plays, etc. Um, I did watch a lot of films, just real quick. First person first, then third person, because you can see what happened when, when you were uh, Third you person. Alright, Desi, last one. Also person I've never met. So there's a rumor going around that a certain community manager at 343 Industries by the name of Just to Say, BS Angel, has multiple gamer tags that goes into matchmaking and mercilessly destroys every opponent that she encounters. Can you confirm or deny that? The official line on that is we know nothing. We can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny that statement at this time. Although if it finds out that Jess is staff padding and matchmaking, then she will we be might. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think she's actually the text who <laughs> All right, so to close out the panel today, we have an awesome highlight reel that has been seen by nobody except some people on the hub. <laughs> um, yeah, but those, oh, we have a donor status because again, since we're all volunteers, nobody pays for the hub, it comes out of pocket. So people come in, they chip in five bucks and they get access to a super secret forum where we post stuff like this. Please enjoy. Sharing is totally appreciated.